<laughs> Karen Mitchell wrapping up her routine. Very beautifully done. She'll head backstage and she'll have a word now with Mark Dimiola. Karen, yeah. you move extremely well out there. Have you taken any dance classes? No, I wish I always had. I always wanted to be a gymnast or a ballerina, and I just never got around to that. It's taken seven years of work to really be able to move at all, I think. Well, you move great. Thank you. I'll second that one now. Currently in her routine is Maritza Ramos, 32 years old from Cleveland, Ohio. She's got a fast-paced routine going, and you're watching it. She's 5'5", 130 pounds, was sixth in pre-judging. Let's take a look. She's another personal trainer. You know, I don't know if I agree in this decision. I think I think that Karen should have been ahead of her. I think she's got, Karen had a little bit more muscle and definition. I don't know, maybe I'm blind. Well, it seems like Maritz is a little softer. She placed in the USA's last year. I think sometimes it looks a little bit different too from the judges' seats instead of from back here. Originally from Puerto Rico, where she participated in track and field. Look at the back. Maritza Ramos completes her routine. She was sixth. Who was fifth? We'll tell you who. She's on the stage now. Dawn Hope, 22 years old, from New York City. 5'7", 126 pounds. Another track and field athlete, also played volleyball. She's now into martial arts and yoga. It's so tough in New York City to find the right gym. There are plenty of them, but having lived in New York, many of them are in corners on streets that you wouldn't want to walk. I'm <laughs> telling you. That's where the martial arts comes yeah, in, right. or, the, or the bodybuilding. <laughs> she worked out at Union Square Gym. I remember a gym in Hell's Kitchen when I lived in New York City, right on 49th Street. You know, I think, I think she, too, is still a little bit soft. Just a tiny bit. Well, they're supposed to be improving as we move up. Well, maybe they are in the symmetry category, but I, st I still think Karen was more muscular. Don Hope heads backstage, and we will take a break. From the banks of the Hudson, the women's nationals continue after this. Four more heavyweights, and currently into her routine is Mary Hovey Walk. She's 31 years old from Phoenix, Arizona. Corey, she's 5'5", 135 pounds. She actually, to me, looks larger than that. She looks like, she, you know, she's as big as the other girls have been up there. But she placed fourth in the pre-judging. Her strong point is her beautiful... Symmetry, proportion. I keep harping on that, but that is a very, very important thing that's emphasized in women's bodybuilding. Well, she started working out to lose more weight. Former long distance runner. And she says she was very, very thin during her running days, almost anorexic. A lot of women get into that state. Um, I don't know if it's culture or if it's emotions or what it is, or just wanting to lose body fat. But a lot of women go through this sort of anorexic stage. Whereas bodybuilding helps that because the women don't want to be fat, but they want to be toned, firm, and muscular. And muscle weighs more than fat, so you, you're actually in a healthier state, putting on some muscle. It really has saved a lot of anorexics, I can guarantee that. Well, your former Michigan State winner leaves the stage. Mary Hovey Walk and backstage, there are but three more heavyweights. The pumping up continues, but into her routine now. On the stage is Linda Wood Hoyt. Let's join her in action. Corey, she's 46 years old. More power to her. Five, right. three. Well, I'm still waiting for the day that you see, a, you see an Albert Beckles, a woman that's 58 years old on stage. Well, in uh, about, you know, 12, 12 years. years. Okay. okay, good. Linda Woodhoy <laughs> will be 58. She'll be continue to improve That's at that right. point, too. As long as she keeps it up. Third place in prejudging. You know, one of the things to, is that muscle takes a long time to develop. And some of these youngsters, they're like 19, 20 years old, haven't had the years of training behind them. And, and with women's weight training, muscle is very, very hard to put on, and it's sort of an accumulation technique that you use. 
Linda Wood Hoyt works on Long Island at Hostry University. Again, but, this is her backyard. She's got, and I heard some cheering from the fans there. She just sparkles too. She shines. Well, all the months have paid off. She's enjoyed her workout. She obviously enjoys being on the stage. Very proud. Very she, muscular. Yeah. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> She's a delight to watch. Linda Wood Hoyt leaves. And as you can see, the audience obviously enjoying her. And now this audience is going to be treated to the top two heavyweight. She's from the Bronx. Don't mess with her, huh? She's from the Bronx. Yo. I like the start already. She holds a pose. Joe, you like every start. Well, I'm telling you, I'm so impressed with these ladies. They really are so creative. Naturally, they're, they're, they're hard, they're built. They've been working too hard she not to show. She is beautiful. Isn't she? Trains with her husband. You know, one of the things you can watch is the hands and the fingers. And you can see a person that's very, very tense. Or like her, her hands are just soft and light. And she's in control. She's not nervous. You can just see it in her fingers. I'll let you in on a secret. What is it? She's pregnant. What? She what? is. She's continued her bodybuilding what, program. Tell me she's like nine months pregnant or I, something? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry. I wasn't involved in this. I can only tell you the fact. She's pregnant. Wow. She's built up her legs beautifully. Lats, her shoulders, everything. You know what? Maybe even her neck. Can you build up a neck? Neck. Um, you don't see that very often. My old training partner used to bang his head against the wall to build up his neck. And naturally, his nickname was Butthead. But boy, did he have a heck of a neck. <laughs> really, the only exercise you do for neck is um, shrugs. Shrugs? Yeah, for to build up the trapezius, which is a muscle that attaches up at the neck and down at the base of the back. Isn't center. she cute? She is. And she's a mama. Uh-huh. That is fantastic. Very nice. We've had one other athlete compete pregnant, uh, Lori Bowen did a guest posing when she was about two and a half months pregnant. She couldn't figure out why she couldn't suck in her lower stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Josie Cole. Beautiful. Yeah, she's enjoying herself. Oh, I'm enjoying her too. She moves quite nicely. Excellent shape. I think she appreciates the fans there. Well, for the next nine months, she's not going to be in that shape. That's, That's for it, sure. Josie. Kiss the figure goodbye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, Rank number one out of prejudging. Let's enjoy now on the stage Liz Park, 31 years old. She's from Santa Barbara, California, 5'5, 136 pounds. She has stuck out this sport like you wouldn't believe. I've known her for probably eight years, and she was excellent eight years ago, and she's still excellent. Works at the powerhouse gym. In fact, Powerhouse Gym is her sponsor. Can I ask you something? No. That bathing suit looks awfully small. I'm serious. It looks, it well, looks almost illegal. Actually, the IFBB has rulings on how small a bathing suit in the back can be because it has to have um, sufficient gluteal coverage. And there's actually somebody who checks your suits to make sure that they're legal on suits. Well, if we get another angle, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. There, I'm that's what I'm talking about. We're just quit looking at it. Well, you talk about having to need gluteal <laughs> coverage. She barely... No, she has plenty of gluteal coverage. Right, let's move on. A former aerobics instructor. I'm just trying to... Uh... One of the things about Liz is that she's, she's um, a very advanced horseback riding expert. She used to compete in different championships, and I still remember photos of her riding horses for years ago, and she always had these muscular shoulders and arms. She's worked on every aspect of her body. She, she was beautiful. You talk about a little history with her. In 1985, she was fifth in the USA. In 88, she wasn't even in the top 15, so she's made a comeback of sorts. Right. And you know, she used to. She was always muscular like this, and she was ahead of her time, I think, because years ago she was really muscular, then all of a sudden everybody caught up with her. Now she's still muscular, but everybody else is too. Some 62 ladies began this competition. We are down to the three that you see here in the pose down. Three vying for the overall championship. All right, music, please. Here you see them. 
There's their names, Sue Myers in the lightweight, Sharon Errol, middleweight, Liz Carp, Corey, she's the heavyweight champion. What do you think? I think the middleweight. Um, normally I would say the, the heavyweight, but I think I think that the middleweight is put, not that she's got more muscle or more definition than anybody else, but she's just put it together in a tighter package. Right there, that right, lady, Sharon right. Errol. There's Liz and there's Sue. But it is going to be close because they're all great. They're all prepared. I like to call this showing off. It's the pose down. They're showing what they've got for the judges and, of course, the, the people that have come here to watch this competition. The girls can move around in any manner that they want in this pose down. Right. Standing yes. ovation. There's such a little difference. I mean, when you get to this level, yeah. aside from weight, obviously, in the different classifications. But to the judges, there's a huge difference. Well, where's the huge difference? You're a judge right now. Sharon's lower quad is huge. <laughs> no, I think it's in the in the shape of okay. that package. All right, so Corey likes Sharon. The middleweight champion. Hey, I like them all. Don't okay. put words into my mouth. I think they're about to announce it. Sharon's in the middle. Look at her lower quads. They're, they're You're right. Almost overdeveloped. Here we go. Here we go. Get on your marks, ladies. Best lighting. <laughs> all right. Our overall winner, 89 Women's Nationals. Guess what? What? You were right. Who? Number 20, Sue Myers. Well, you were wrong, Sue Corey. Springs oh, Burn. my God. How about that? You know how often that happens? Not often, huh? Oh, I'm always wrong. No, no, not you being wrong, but the lightweight winning it overall. Oh, no, that, that very rarely happens. Outstanding. Sue Myers. How about one for the little girl? I'm sorry I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't think you really overlooked her. You had Ladies her pegged early. She's so happy. That's She's great. Thrilled. Our promoters this evening, Muscle Media. Well, she won the lightweight at the Junior Nationals last year. Now she can show. place this all. title to her credits. Well, now the nationals. all of them can turn pro now, Your so that's the benefit that they all have. Sumire. And we have our three winners. We have Sharon Errol winning the middleweight division, Liz Carp, the heavyweight champion. And a surprise, our overall winner is the lightweight winner in Sue Myers. And in the past few years, the heavyweights have normally dominated winning the nationals. Carla Dunlop was a heavyweight. She went on to win the Miss Olympia. I was a heavyweight, went on to win the Miss Olympia. Diana Dennis is a heavyweight. Kathy Pell is a heavyweight. And also Lori Bond. We've all been heavyweights. So the trend is broken with Sue Myers. And we understand she's backstage with Mark Demiola right now. Let's go to that interview. <laughs> Come on over here. Sue, first of all, congratulations. Overall champion, what a night. Is it everything that you anticipated? It's a lot more than I anticipated, yes. <laughs> what happens from here? What can you possibly do next? I have no idea. I think I'm going to talk to my boss and get a couple of days off work for one thing. <laughs> Definitely. Just yeah. go and celebrate. You deserve it. You're a great champion. Oh, thank Thanks, you very Sue. Much. All right, Mark, thank you very much. Our champion, Sue Myers. And let us not forget what kind of a stepping stone that this is, because it was 1984 when a young lady from Chicago, Illinois, won this very title, the Women's National. Her name, Corey Everson.